here it is about 20 minutes after 10 on Saturday. I thought these were lost. They sort of disappeared off of tracking. These are Pearl Galaxy Madaka rice fish from Aquahuna. We'll see, we'll see what they look like. Let's go unbox these things. Okay, well, it is interesting. This came through Portland, actually from, uh, originally from Renton, Washington to Portland to San Diego, and then here. And I really thought I lost it because it really just seemed to fall off the tracking the last two days. Then I got a notification this morning that it's out for delivery. This is Saturday the 16th, and this is the Pearl Galaxy Madaka rice fish from Aquahuna. I visit our website. Aquahuna always sells their fish in, in lots. So this was two lots of six. So this is going to be about a $60 experiment. They're not terribly expensive. They can handle cold. Oh, shrimp can live for 14 days in a box. Gosh. All right, what about the, the fish here? So anyway, you can read that if you like. Don't forget to hit the pause button. It is, God, I don't know. I should have taken a temperature. What, what the temperature is at here. I just shot the back of this umbrella that's right above here. It says it's 73 degrees in the shade, on the shady side. Let's see, they look okay so far. 70 degrees in the box. I guess that's a heat pack. It's ice cold. Busting it up. I don't know if that's going to do anything else to it. Then there's this. This was the heat pack wrapper. Okay, so that was it. Yeah, I've seen these on eBay. No, I'm sorry, on Amazon. Continuous warmth, any place, anytime. Uh, up to 40 hours so that's less than two days and this left i think portland uh four days ago came usps priority i don't know if you can see that right there upside down but usps priority i've been having a problem with them i've lost three orders through them through priority uh that just sort of got lost and, and went god knows where this is for my buddy jeff at jeff pelham's aquatic aquahoon is using those uh i forgot what's uh i think curtis skull aquatics uh, gave us a name for those, and I don't remember what it was. So let's uh, let's float these things, okay? And while we're at it, we'll find out what the water temperature is over there as well. Now, hopefully you saw the video of me setting up this tub. I just moved it. It was back there against the house, and now it's out here. I figured it needs some sunshine. Let it warm up in the daytime. It is winter. No, it's not yet. It's, you know, mid-fall. The, the water feels cold. I, of course it does. It's outside. And anyway, you saw me set this up. I put a, this is 100 gallon Rubbermaid tub I got from Tractor Supply. And you probably saw me plant those Jungle Val Scenari in that plastic tray. And then right below us here in the shadow is uh, another plastic tray full of Amazon Sword. And then there's a bunch of uh, guppy grass. And that's kind of the plan for this is to be another source for guppy grass for me because I sell the hell out of it on my eBay store. And there's some dwarf water lettuce. And there's a piece of uh, right about there, Brazilian pennywort. All right, let me get the fish and we'll float those. All right, there should be 12 fish, six in each bag. I found one dead fish in the other bag. I don't know how many I'm seeing in here. After these float for a few minutes, we will open them up and net them out. This bag looks like they're okay. Uh, there's one that, yeah, I think they're, yeah, there's one that's dead in there. We'll see. In this bag, there's another dead one right here by my thumb. I don't know if you guys can see that in this bag, but we will sort that out when I open it. So we'll soak these for about, I don't know, we'll give them about 20 minutes. Water temperature in the, the tub is 65. Okay, since Aquahuna wants stills for uh, the DOAs, what I came up with, because I had to figure this one out all by myself, and it's really hard to shoot a picture through a plastic bag like this. So what worked is grab the plastic bag, squeeze it tight, get the fish lined up, put the lens right on the bag, and it actually showed up pretty well. But there's one in this bag, and I don't know if you guys can see it, and I don't want to put it on right on the... Yeah, there it is floating right there. And the other bag, same thing. Squeeze tight. Let's find it. And it's back in here. It's already pretty well decomposing. The other one looks like it just died. But this one, it's been a while. So these have been floating about 20 minutes now. So I'm going to open the bag and net them out and drop them in. Well, let's, let's check. Oh, you know what? Hang on. I'm going to put you on hold for a minute because I got to go get the thermometer again. All right, let's uh, temp check again. The water is 62.8, and in the bag it says it's 63.9. So maybe I will let them sit another couple minutes and add a little bit of water to them. Hopefully that doesn't kick the ammonia off. They don't put the ammonia absorbing poly pads or whatever they're called in their bags. I would like that if they did. And these are double bagged. So I'm going to roll the top down just a hair, and it'll float like that and put a little bit of water in. It's a lot easier, I think, to open the bags with a pair of scissors than it is with a utility knife. Utility knives have their place. Opening bags like this is not it, in my opinion. 
Put a little bit like that in there. Let that sit for just a couple more minutes. All right, let's shoot the water instead of trying to shoot through the bag. 62.1, pretty close. 61.1, 61.5. So there's a little bit of fluctuation going on here. So let's net these guys out. Pardon my reach. And there's the dead one, really obvious now. All right, let's net them out. We'll leave the dead ones in the bag. There are five. I know you can't see this, not very dramatic. There's another one that looks kind of faded, like it's small. That'll probably be the last one out of the net. Come on, out you go. No, it looks okay, and it took off. All right, and the dead one is still in the bag. And that one's been dead for a while. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. And there's five here, and out they go. Get the bags out of there, get you off the tripod. So yesterday I moved this tub, I said that, so I drained out about 80 gallons of water. And today, and then filled it back up, and then this morning I put the, the API tap water conditioner in, and some CO2 boost again, and some uh, Seachem Flourish Potassium, and also some Greg Sage uh, Select Aquatics Rapid Grow fertilizer. So it's all back in. And they should be okay. I can see some swimming around in there. Let's see if we can get you guys to where you can see that. They are all hiding. There's one on the top right there. Another two down low uh, right about there. And another two way back there. So hopefully they'll be all right. I'll throw a little bit of food in there because there's nothing for them to eat right now. And probably within the next few days, bugs will start landing in here. And when I, when I move this this time, I set the tub up. So it's actually overhanging the drain. The overflow drain is actually overhanging the planter. Um, hopefully that'll keep it off the patio a little bit longer. And also I set it up out here on the patio and I don't know if it's past the eaves far enough. Yeah, maybe not. If it rains hard, it'll flush right into there and take a bunch of roof crap with it. I might have to move it. That means draining it again and moving it out another foot, foot and a half, maybe out to that expansion joint or that little little line here. Anyway, there we go. Pearl Galaxy Madaka rice fish from Aquahuna. 10 out of 12 made it. So here we go. Oh, pretty cloud shot too. 10 out of 12 Pearl Galaxy Madaka rice fish from Aquahuna. We'll see how they handle it. Um, I have faith in them. I've dealt with them before. They seem like good people and I will tag them in this unboxing video. And then again, you know, go back and watch the video on setting this thing up with the plants, the, the tray of uh, Jungle Val scenario. And I hope they make it in this one. One came out of the water and it had new roots on it already. So I think they'll make it just fine, even though the water's cold. And then Amazon swords in this tub and then all the other plants, the guppy grass, the dwarf water lettuce, the Brazilian pennywort. And I think there's some red root floaters that don't look like they're going to make it out here at all. So we'll see. And if they don't, I will add some more. Another dwarf pennywort right there. All right, another beautiful day in paradise. All right, so anyway, as always, you know, I value your comments and your suggestions and, and everything else you got to offer. And as I always say, thanks for looking.